Good morning, everybody. It's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this morning's video, we're going to be talking about a couple of stocks and ETFs that I'm looking to trade today. We're also going to be taking a look at what the stock market futures are looking like with about 30 minutes left to the market open here on April 1st in 2019. And let me tell you guys one thing. The markets are soaring this morning. The futures actually opened up yesterday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard on Sunday, and they gapped up looking very, very good. And that continued into this morning with the S&P 500 currently up about $20, up about 0.7%. The NASDAQ up about $70, up nearly 1% here in the pre-market hours. <clears throat> and the Dow Jones up about 207 points up about 0.8 percent so far so these futures are telling me that you know the bulls are taking over right now and really continuing this uptrend push that we've been talking about and analyzing here in the overall markets especially in the s p 500 so just very quickly guys one level I'm watching very closely today, and honestly this morning, because with where we're going to open based on the futures, we're going to be right at that level, is 2860, which is this resistance on the S&P from back on the 21st of March in 2019. So keep an eye on this level. Are we going to double top here? Are we going to break out of this level to make a new higher high to continue the uptrend and get one step closer to to the all-time high. Just keep an eye on those levels in terms of uh, the SPX here. So let's just hop right into it, guys. What am I watching this morning? If you follow me on Twitter, I sent out my watch list about 30 to uh, 30 minutes to an hour ago. If you're in the Discord chat, I was talking about it earlier this morning as well. But for all of you that did not see that, let's just talk about it very quickly. So the first one that I am watching is going to be Apple, ticker symbol AA. APL. And I was talking about this one earlier uh, in the video yesterday. And pretty much I like Apple because we were able to maintain the 185 uh, older resistance as a new support. And we've been able to maintain the 50 simple moving average as a support here as well, which has proven to be a support over the past couple of weeks here on the 184 hour chart. And we noticed the nice gap up this morning as the markets gapped up as well, which is a good sign that Apple wants Wants to continue this push and get one step closer to 195. So if you watch my video yesterday, the top 10 stocks I'm looking to trade in April, this was one of them with an ideal entry point at about 190 to 191 with an initial exit at the resistance here at about 195 to 196. And if we were to break that level, <clears throat> you know, I would potentially uh, add more money there or sell off and add a new position to then get to the next resistance at about $200. So this is actually one that I'm watching this morning. And now that I'm thinking about it off the top of my head, I actually had a subscriber request two stocks for me to talk about in this video. So I'm actually pulling it up on my phone now to talk about them very quickly because I actually didn't talk about them in yesterday's video and I did promise him that I would. So those two are Snap and BA. So let's just take a look at those very, very quickly here in this video. And for those of you guys that don't know, uh, both Boeing, yes, this stock has been hammered due to that tragic event where the, th the 737 ended up crashing. It was the second 737 in, the, in a span of six months that did tragically crash. The stock went from 450 down to about 360. But now that we're looking at it, it seems like it's had some very solid recovery. And the key thing that I'm pointing out here and that I'm seeing based on the 184 hour is we're maintaining old resistances here from back in the end of November, back in the middle towards the end of January as new support levels. This is a very, very good sign right here, guys, that we're recovering, we're looking to push back up, and we're looking to honestly get back to the $400 level. So the next thing I'm going to be keeping an eye on here on Boeing 
is whether or not we're going to get rejected or break out of this next resistance here, which is at $395. So ideally, now that we're seeing um, these candlesticks on Boeing looking a bit overextended, the RSI seems a bit overbought as well. I would like to see a little pullback, maybe back down to 380 maybe back down to 378 before potentially building a position in Boeing. But as of now, I'm adding this one to my watch list because it is looking pretty solid for the recovery. We're also noticing a bullish cross here of the EMA above the 50 simple moving average. And remember, when a smaller time frame or a quicker reacting moving average is crossing above a slower reacting moving average, which in this case is the 50 SMA, the slower moving reacting, yes it is, and the uh, EMA here is the quicker reacting one, that is a very bullish move. And we're seeing that, and ever since that cross, we've popped from 370 all the way to 386. So ideally, again, like I said, a pullback here would be nice to enter and then ride back up to $395. So I appreciate the call out here on Boeing. It's looking pretty, pretty solid, and I am going to add it to my watch list. So the second one very quickly that I want to talk about for my uh, um, Discord member here is Snapchat, ticker symbol SNPA, or SNAP rather, and Snapchat this one's kind of been on a pretty solid recovery itself, right? We noticed how it went from $15 to $5. That's pretty, pretty uh, bad there for Snapchat shareholders. If you were holding through this period, um, I, I, I feel your pain because I am holding some stocks myself like Micron that's been, that have been crushed, but not this bad. But anyway, you know, we've recovered nicely. We've noticed how we found the bottom. We saw the bullish cross. We were making higher highs, higher lows, all that stuff and now we see it seems like we pushed to a higher high at about eleven dollars and 65 cents and now we're pulling back and testing that 50 simple moving average support again looking to make the next higher low here so in terms of snap it does look like it's confirmed the bounce on the 50 simple moving average support and it seems like it does want to push back up to 11.55 which again is the next resistance so just keep an eye on that level it is looking good right now it seems like it's forming this cup pattern if we if we break 1160 that could be a breakout and snap but i personally think right now is a decent spot to keep an eye on for snap and a potential entry right around here and then maybe adding more money above the break of this resistance could be a good move here in snapchat but again do your own research that's very very critical don't buy or sell based on my opinion but the technicals are looking pretty solid here in snapchat so what are uh, some other ones that I'm personally watching this morning? We talked about natural gas yesterday in yesterday's video. Let's just hop over here to the, uh, not the not the one day, one minute. What was it? I think it was the, uh, let's just go to the 30 day, 90 minute so we can see. Did you guys remember in yesterday's video how I was talking about exactly what's playing out right now? I wanted to see a retest at the 50 simple moving average here on natural gas before building a position in DGAS. For those of you guys that don't know, ticker symbol DGAZ is a bear ETF that trades on the natural gas futures. Whenever natural gas is selling off, DGAS is going up. And we notice here over the past couple of trading days, the 50 SMA has been a resistance on natural gas. Every time we've tested it, we've gotten rejected and made a lower low. So that's exactly what I want to see right now. I want to see the confirmation of the rejection at the 50 SMA here before building a position so we can get in at the ideal price on DGAS. And really from this point, I want to see a lower low being built so we can profit on DGAS, right? So let's see it here this morning. We're talking about we were talking about yesterday, we want to see a pullback, and that's exactly what we're getting. So let's say we retest the 50 SMA, maybe at about 103, 104. I think from 103, 104, back up to 109, that offers about a 6% margin. I think that's a very attainable trade there 
in DGAS. So keep an eye on that one this morning, guys. And honestly, throughout the day, it's looking pretty, pretty solid. And another one that's moving very strongly right now is gold. So it looks like we double bottomed on that 1296, roughly that 1296 area of support, which is a good sign that we want to head back up. Remember, a double bottom is a good sign that a bullish pattern could start forming, like a double top is a sign that a bearish pattern excuse me, might start forming. So keep an eye on gold this morning as well. And JNUG, which is an ETF that trades on gold, it goes up whenever gold goes up. It's obviously a bullish ETF. This is one that maybe... You know, it could have found its bottom here based on this trend on the 184 hour. Just take a look at this. The low at 830, higher low at 918. Could this be the next higher low at 980? Let's see this morning and this upcoming week. This could potentially be the next higher low. So that is another one that I'm watching. Off the top of my head, I think ACB was another one I put in my watch list. And this is one that is struggling and it's playing, fiddling with the resistance at about about 9.30 to 9.25. And if you guys watched my video yesterday, I was talking about how in terms of ACB, I want to get out. I want to see a break out of this downtrending uh, trend line resistance here and eventually out of the 9.40 resistance before building a position. So we got out of this downwards trend, but it's looking like we're getting rejected by that resistance, which is one thing I want to see a break above again before building a position. So until we get into 9.45, 9.50, I'm probably not going to be trading ACB. And Tesla is another one this morning that is looking pretty solid. We ended up breaking out of uh, this resistance here. Let's go on the 184 hour. We can see what I'm talking about very quickly before I do end off this video. We topped off at about 279-ish, or rather that was the resistance from back in the middle of October. We ended up holding it as a support a couple of days ago. And the fact that we popped above it again, now we're in the 280s. This is a good sign in terms of Tesla. Tesla stock that we want to continue to push up, right? And now we see a clear resistance on Tesla like I've been talking about over the past couple of weeks here at the 180 simple moving average. And pretty much, guys, if you were to trade uh, Tesla between the 50 and the 180 SMA like I've been, you know, calling out in my videos, you'd be doing very well right now, right? If you were to get in from 270 up to where we are now, you'd be up around 4 or 5% up to the uh, 180 SMA. It would be around a 7% move there. So the big bullish move on Tesla right now would be the break out of this downwards trending line and the break out of the 180 SMA. If we were to do that, quite frankly, guys, I think we're going to be headed back to $300 per share very, very soon here in terms of Tesla stock. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was kind of like a second episode to the top stocks I'm watching in April because we did talk about some that I didn't talk about in yesterday's video. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, feel free to go down below and hit that like button. It really does support me and supports the channel's growth in general. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to consider subscribing. Hit that red button as well as the notification bell so you're notified every time that I do make a video. And drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think think about these different stocks. And if you have time, watch some of these other videos that you see on the screen here. Take a look at those. Let me know what you think. There's a bunch of value in there. As always, I'll catch you all in the next video. If you're in the Discord chat, I'll chat with you guys in there. Good luck today. Have a good one. Peace out.